Hi, this will be the second part of our notes for section 1-1 using inductive reasoning. So we're going to pick up with number five. We need the next three terms of these sequences. If you remember back to the ones we did before, we used addition, we used subtraction, we used multiplication. Number five is going to introduce a new operation. We're going from 32 to 16 to 8. So we're getting smaller. Seems like we're getting smaller pretty fast. The quickest way to figure out what's going on here is, is using division. We're actually dividing by two here. So that's your pattern. That's the inductive reasoning process. The numbers that are going to come next would be 8 divided by 2, which would be 4. 4 divided by 2, which will be 2. And 2 divided by 2, which would be 1. So your three answers would be 4, 2, and 1. Okay, so that uses our four main mathematical operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Number six kind of introduces a new concept. So let's look at this sequence. We're going from 10 to 12 to 15 to 19. What comes next? Find the pattern first. Okay, we are increasing, but we're not increasing by the same amount. So we are getting bigger. It's not addition because we're going up by two, then up by three, then up by four, it looks like. So multiplication doesn't really make sense here either. You're just adding one extra term to the one previous. So we added two, added three, added four. We'll do 19 plus five to get 24. And then we're going to do 24 plus 6 to get to 30. And then we'll do 30 plus 7 to end up with 37. So your three answers here would be 24, 30, and 37. Okay, same idea with these next sequences. Number seven, we're going from one to two to six to 24. You're getting really big, really fast. It's increasing. What can we do to find the pattern? Okay, the pattern for this one is we're multiplying by two and then we're gonna multiply by three. Then we multiply by four. Then we're going to multiply by 5. So 24 times 5 is going to get us our first term of the sequence. Might need a calculator for that. It's going to give you 120, 24 times 5. Then we're going to take 120 times 6 to get 720. And then we'll do 720 times 7 and we'll end up with 5,040. Okay, so to repeat on that one, our answers there would be 120, 720, 5,040. Different sequence. We're multiplying by an extra term each time. Okay, number eight, we're using some bigger numbers. We're going from 101 to 102 to 105 to 110 to 117. What is the pattern? Now, maybe you didn't think of this initially, but I think once you see this example and understand this example, you're not going to get fooled with it again. You're adding one and then we're going to add three, then we're going to add five, then we're going to add seven. So we need 117 plus nine, which would give you 126. 
Then you're going to add 11 to get to 137. Then you're going to add 13 to get to 150. Okay, so you're basically adding by the odd numbers. So we're going to end up with 126, 137, and 150. Okay, so that's using inductive reasoning with numbers. Now, another part of math, especially in this subject, geometry, would be doing the same thing with shapes. Okay, so we're going to draw the next figure in the pattern. So in number nine, we got two squares, then two triangles, then two squares. What's going to come next? Also notice there's some colors. So we're going white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. So the next shape should be white, and it should be a triangle. Okay, now on a test or a quiz, you're probably not going to have to draw. We're not going to assess you on how well you draw. It's probably going to be multiple choice. So you're just picking the term that looks like what would come next. Okay, let's take a look at number 10 real quick here. Looks like we have a yellow square. And then in the next figure, we have the same yellow square with maybe an orange rectangle beside it. Then we keep that same figure for the third part of this. And we have an extra yellow rectangle at the end. So what would the fourth term look like? Well, it's going to look just like the third term, except there's going to be an additional orange rectangle to the right of that little yellow rectangle. OK, hopefully this makes sense with me just talking about this. And unfortunately, I'm not able to write on these slides yet. Hopefully this that won't last long and that that'll be, I think, a better way to learn this. But if you have any questions or concerns, please don't be afraid to to ask or reach out to me through Teams. Thanks, guys. We got one more video in this section. Bye.